Hello everyone. Welcome to AM Technet. Today we are going to demonstrate how to deploy a domain controller in Azure VM. Before that, in this lab, we have to check what are the prerequisites in order to deploy the Active Directory in Azure. The static IP should be added to the server and in the DNS, the primary DNS IP should be the same as the Active Directory server. So let's go to the portal.azure.com. When you log into the Azure, we will see the dashboard. In the dashboard, we have to click create resource. In here, we are going to create a resource group first. So search the resource group. In the resource group, we are going to create a new resource group. In the resource group, we are typing the name and select the region. After reviewing, we are going to create the resource group. Once the resource group created, we are going to create a virtual network. In, the, in that, you have to create a virtual network. Under the virtual network, you have to select the correct resource group which we created previously. Then after provide a, a name for the VNet, then after select the region. we have to uh, provide the IP address in this case I am providing 172.16.0.0 with the 16 subnet and we are going to add a subnet for that in the subnet also we are defining the network range 172.16.0.0.24 subnet So after creating the VNet and the subnet, we are going to deploy a, a virtual a server which is called VM. In order to do that, we are going to the VM icon and we are going to click on the create button and, and select the Azure VM. So here we have to provide the resource group which we created previously. Then we have to provide a, a name for the VM and the region when we are selecting in this lab we are selecting windows server 2022 the size of the vm you can select provide the user id and then after provide the password for that user id We are only allowing RDP 3389 port for the for this lab and I'm selecting the OS this type depending on your credit you can select when we click on the next it will automatically select the a network and you can see the, the IP range which we already defined monitoring we are going we are not going to do anything we are going to click next
after reviewing we are going to create the vm so it will take a few minutes to deploy the vm now the vm is deployed so we will go and see how it's, it's giving the information So we can see uh, a public IP is already assigned to this VM. So we are going to copy that one. Now we are going to log into that newly created VM using the public IP. For this, you have to use a remote desktop and there we have to mention the public IP. Now I am successfully logged into that server, so we will check what are the information that are available. In this step, we are going for the command prompt and see the IP configuration. We can see the DNS IP starting 168 range, so we have to change this IP and we have to set the static IP to the server before deploying Active Directory. To do that, we are going to the VM and select the Networking tab. Under the Networking tab, we are going to select the Interface. Once the interface load, in the interface, we can see a section called IP Configurations. When we click on the IP configuration, we can go to the IP and we can select the static. So every time when the server up, it will use the same static IP for the server. So now we are going to the VNet and we are going to change the DNS. In the DNS server, we can select the customize option. So here what you are going to enter, secondary DNS server as the Azure DNS, as a primary DNS server, we are going to define the server IP. Here we are going to add a custom. We are going to define the server IP as a primary DNS IP. As a secondary DNS server, we are going to save the Azure DNS IP. After changing the IP, we are going to the command prompt and type IP config renew. So then we can see the changes reflected. So we can see the DNS server is the same as the server IP. So now we are going to install ADDS service to this server. We are going to manage and we are going to add a role. Select Active Directory Domain Service and we are going to click Next. We will allow server to automatically reboot if required and click install. It will take few minutes to install.
now we can see the installation is completed so we are going to close the wizard then after we are going to promote this server as a domain controller here you can see a small flag with a yellow color button here we are going to click on the message so now we are going to create our domain and we are add a new forest in this case i am providing the the name for this domain We have to provide a, uh, a password which is complex one. This is for the directory services restore. The NetBIOS name will be automatically detected. and now it's prompting for log off so when we close this banner it will automatically reboot Now I'm again logging to the domain controller with my domain admin account. Now here we can see Active Directory users and computers snapping and the DNS snapping as well. Here we can see our domain name. When we run the DNS map snapping, we can see our, our DNS records is added to the forward lookup zone. In the computer manager, so we can see our uh, a DC as a domain controller. Now we are going to add another server to this domain. While I was deploying the Active Directory. I deploy another server with the IP of 172.16.0.5. So I'm RDP to that server. You can see the name is DZ02. Now we are going to add this server as a member server of that domain. So here we are going to select the system properties. Under system properties, we are going to change the workgroup to the domain. So we are mentioning the domain name. We are going to click OK. It will prompt me to enter the domain admin credentials.
so you can see after entering the admin credentials it says welcome to the domain so in order to reflect these we have to reboot the server so we are going to restart now we have to log into that a newly joined server with the domain admin credentials first of all we are going to take the copy of the ip address we are going to type the ip then we are going to mention the domain name and the admin account now we are logging to the new server with the as a domain admin So it will apply the policies. When we go to the properties to verify in the system properties and, and the full device name is dz01.amtechnet.local. So when we go to the Active Directory computers, we can see and the DNS server also have the record with 16.05. So it means the newly added server is properly joined to the domain. So here it's a simple step that how we can deploy an Active Directory in the Azure VM and implement a lab environment. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.